Hello, second channel viewers. This is odd, isn't it? I decided to do this update here because the uh, the creator of the uh, SJY Artesian headphones, these guys, remember these? Remember these? He's like, hey, can you post a video update so I can share it to places? Because people want to know what I've changed and I, I don't, like, how? Help, help. So I'm like, sure, you know what? I got a second channel. I got this channel. Let's just post it. And he'll probably put this on the page because he's currently got, um, if you don't remember, these are Indiegogo headphones, right? Indiegogo. And the the, the thing is over. He had 44% of his goal, but he followed through and he's still building and updating the headphones. And this was actually my set. I sent back to him and he completely changed everything. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't have my set. And he sent it back to me and it's like, here is the version that people are getting in the mail so that you Zios can tell people the difference. So the he listed me, he gave me here's his here's his, his thing. Um this used to be plastic. Now it is metal. He actually did a damn good job finishing it, considering it looks like it's very it's very handmade. It's shiny and smooth. So no longer will this be plastic, which was like Longevity sake does not indicate well for plastic on the yoke. The yoke is now metal. These corner blocks are still 3D printed, but he's had apparently very good success with them, with the, the slides that go right through them. Like that is actually very good tolerance. And I'm sure if you needed to change it out, it wouldn't cost much. So those are red and blue. So those are truly, I like that aesthetic because it gives you that like, yeah, yeah, these could be professionally made, or they could be a guy starting out and he's just trying his damnedest, and that's a pretty fucking solid... He said he's had, I don't think, any of these crack, so I'm pretty impressed by that. Um, so let's see, the yoke's now dur more durable. There's also now nylon spacers. Um, less friction, more longevity. So probably in here, unless these are nylon, you might be 3D printing in nylon, which makes perfect sense, or in here. You know what? That's where the... Uh, excuse the crud... I promise you that's not dandruff, it's just crud. So nylon spacers in that. I got it back, and I literally was astonished at how smooth the wood is. Because it's the same style of wood, it's the same, you know, hard edge. But, I mean, this is like glass now. He's really gone all out with the, the finishing of this. A little, little rougher on maybe the edge here. But I that's that's Pubba Pen Valley level, level smooth wood. Um, the strap on top, I think, has remained the same. The spring steel has remained the same. It almost matches what he's got on the yokes. Um, the XLRs that come out of the actual headphone themselves are now angled. Because he 3D printed these parts, and I was complaining that because it was going straight down, it was hitting me in the shoulders. And if I wear them like this, now we actually come out over the collarbone, which is so much better. Like, you just a little bit, that little bit, that half inch makes all the difference in the world and now the actual tuning of the unit so the actual sound coming out of the drivers there's an acoustic mesh that has lowered the bass distortion due to the low impedance these are the low impedance headphones if you don't, don't recall they were running around like seven seven ohms i've got them coming off the flux uh, fa12s and it's perfectly fine not even i'm on high gain but i'm at like one o'clock seem to be solid. I have now no problems with overheating or distortion. Um, and they're getting quite loud. Uh, balanced, come to the balanced cable. These are the cable. The cable hasn't changed from when I did my review. It's actually rather nice. A little short, honestly. Like, it works fine for this desk, but if you want... Is this even like a five-footer? This might not even be like a five-foot cable. It's a little, little, little tiny. But, you know, beautiful weave here. You got to straighten it out a little bit. It's got a couple of janks from being shipped. Um, so he's also added felt pads for tuning the treble inside the driver. And then for some reason, and he included this in the little little list, um, he's also made the driver hot swappable, uh, but never recommends it because it could ruin the tuning. I have no idea what that means. I guess that means if you have failure of the actual driver, and I'm gonna pull these off now. Oh, you can see the tuning, the tuning felt. So you can, can I peel this off? Yes, I can. So we've got a very thin white paper mesh followed by this nice thick, that is really thick actually, it's super fucking, perfectly cut. I'm I'm OCD, that's, that's nice. It just stays in there. I got to peel it off. 
with the acoustical tuning here. And it's got, this is all 3D printed, the entire ring. This is mounted is all 3D printed. So it's nice to see like an actual made headphone use 3D printed parts. I actually didn't even notice it till I pulled it off just now. I'm actually going to, these are the pads I come with. I think these are Brainways pads. If not, he might've custom made the pads too. Might've had them contracted out. These are a very, very soft suede. I'm gonna try a pad swap because I haven't done this headphone, but now that this is the finalized released version, I gotta know what these will do. I think they'll fit. They're oof, you know what? These may not fit. These are the pads that um, Ryan from Modhouse sent for the Argon T60, and I've been putting them on everything. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pause this video for a second, change pads, and see, because I the, the tuning, the new tuning with the stock pads is quite good. Like quite really good, like way better than it was back in the day. I just wanna know if we can go even further, because these new pads that uh, Ryan put out are sort of like magic on things. So one sec. So good news, they don't get ruined by a pad change, which is gonna be good for people who have invested in this headphone because I feel like the just the ability to change pads and not have it immediately be ruined is important. These are perfectly fine, satisfactory pads. They have a slightly smaller lip than these, so the lip's kind of like bunched up around the back of it. But I don't hate this. I don't know if it necessarily improves the sound. It might make it a little bit wider. They're much thicker on the back end, so they're keeping it away from your head a little bit. So we're getting a little bit more width to it. But yeah, no, that's that's a positive sign when you could actually change the pads in a headphone and not have it be immediately crap. So Sennheiser, um, although the 8XX, as I will say, changed beautifully to Zaconis. So yeah, I'm thinking that this is a viable headphone. It still has that one issue of the geometry. I can't deny the issue of the geometry where if you pull it out, it kind of wants to do that. You can just see it doesn't want to stay straight. It wants to like muscularly rip off your head a little bit. But once you put them on, you settle down and you're not like, like don't go for a jog in these. But other than that slight geometry rotation issue, really the, the, the wire now fits perfectly fine. I'm not finding them so hard to drive, especially on like a flux amp. And this is not even a balanced amp. It's got a balanced output, but it's not a balanced amp. It's actually a single ended amp with just a balanced connector, which is convenient. So yeah, I think this is this is a good to go uh, large scale planar, which has tuned to the owner's perfection or the creator's perfection. He, he loves this. I could tell this is his sound because it's always tried to be this. It just hasn't always been able to accomplish it or I've been too afraid to power it. And now it seems to power pretty damn solidly like a warm dark I want to say slightly dark they sound like the wood they're carved out of and for someone who's hand making a planar driver the base is pretty solid too and even on these new pads which are a larger cavity which usually means less base they're still able to produce Substantial from Sabra Shampoo. All right, that's it. This is a short, short video update for the uh, SJY Artesian Artisan Artisanal. Look at the different colors. So apparently, uh, by the way, 18 days ago, March 5th. I'm filming this real recently. 18 days ago, March 5th, the first batch of 10 of these was sent to the first 10 supporters. So uh, he had 44 backers. So the other 34 backers will be getting a set. This is actually my set. I paid for one. That's the thing. I I legit, I was the first, you watched me do it in the review of them. I paid the $400, I think, for these because I believe in them. These can go on my wall now. I want to support people who are trying something dangerous and new. That's why I like Modhouse so much. That's like when, when companies throw out a headphone that you'd like, are you making a headphone? If you have the balls to do it and you could pull it off, more power to you. So if you are one of the subscribers, one of the people who bought this, I'm gonna see if I can get another link because obviously linking to the Indiegogo is useless if you, all you can do is follow it and read the updates and the comments. You really can't 
can't buy them anymore. So I'll hopefully once he gets, I think it's it's cold feet. It's like me with merch. By the way, new merch is coming out sometime in the next week or maybe two weeks. Merch, we've got shirts and we've got stickers. Will be on its own website. And you'll be able to actually go buy Z Reviews merch properly, where my friend is actually shipping it out from his basement because he's handling it all. And it's deathly afraid. It's it's fearful because you've got to get an order. Maybe you get an order. Maybe you get ten orders. Maybe you get a hundred orders. He's got a new kid. He's got a work. He's got a job. He's doing. What can he uh, do? It will the shipping rates be insane? Because we were doing um, you know, not free shipping, but no, we were going to do free shipping at like a, a low enough order number. But now shipping rates have doubled because of gas prices and you know, Russia is doing shit. So it's scary to start a business venture. I'm, I've invested like $2,000 into the new merch. I need to make that back. So I can imagine with him getting his first 10 orders out is a huge relief. And now getting the additional, now that I know what they, how good they're doing and I could tell it to you guys, I think he's gonna calm down a bit and then he'll put up an actual, all right, do you want to buy this? Here's the wait list, because I, I know it's not instantaneous. He doesn't have a thousand, he's sitting in a warehouse. He's making them. He's making sure all the felt and all the line, he's 3D printing all the parts that need to be 3D printed. He's probably throwing away half of them that I don't like this up to spec. So bravo to bravo to him getting this out there. And um, I will try to see if there's going to be a website with just the information on it, because I don't think he sent it to me. And then if you can just buy them after, afterwards, this is absolutely, if you want to fund a project, an American-made planar, boom. Uh, everybody starts out like this. Odyssey, Mr. Speakers, Modhouse. Modhouse is actually shh, working on something shh, big. But, you know, shit like this, this is what gets you going. Once this is a success, even if it's a mild success, if it covers your costs, you start looking about the next thing. What's the next thing? What's the next thing I build? Maybe I'm going to build the speakers or spe amp, or maybe I'll make dynamic, or maybe I'll make a double that. I like it. Support them. Support people. Download that wallpaper. Only well, this wallpaper is going only for this video on this channel. So that's is special. It will end up in the wallpaper hoard, and people will be real confused. If you know how to, uh, under the wallpaper will be the link to get all the wallpapers. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the probably put the stock pads back on because I want to roll these on like a million other things. Gotta be real careful with this though, because it's such a thick surround. Like I went way in there, way in there. Yeah, holds up pretty well. And look how pro this looks. Honestly, I've taken apart ZMF headphones and they're not as pro as this, but they're not using 3D printed plastic. They're using wood, which is more crazy. Anyway, I'm done. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, support this artist. Support me as an artist. On Patreon and Subscribestar, do all the things that I would normally say in a regular video, but this isn't the regular channel. I can do anything I want on this channel, but this is a video for him to put on there. So I'm going to be polite and kind and be like, this is great. Let's keep going. And I'll see you in another second channel video, probably have to do with something stupid like, I don't know, killing mice or something.